guys, it's a new growth in Crane Page, and I am Matt. And uh, today, uh, I'm going to show you um, what what I call the creek. Now, this is actually someone's property I've been looking after. I've been doing some work for them, and uh, they've had a lot of trouble with privet here and a lot of weeds. Um, over there is actually a privet grove that's growing down down that creek, um, and this area here where I'm going is on their property so the creek cuts through their property and uh, it's actually experiencing a lot of um, issues with like privet uh, a lot of blackberry the spiny blackberry everyone knows about that if they've got property and they've uh, experienced the spikiness and the just the worst weeds you can have and we even got mulberries down here so Here's the creek here, running quite smoothly, and we got some alocasias here as well. Um, they're they're a very nasty weed. I think they're alocasias. I'll probably put the name up on them. Oh, this big bug just went past. <laughs> but yeah, he's a he's a weedy mulberry we got here, and uh, we got some small leaf privet here. Small leaf privet, there you go. Got the small leaves. There's also large leaf privet here, but the majority of it is small leaf. Um, so it's a it's an ongoing battle. So we've got we've got here the blackberry. You can see those spines. You can see those spines. It's just impossible weed. Um, I mean, I think it I think it's in uh, the UK from the UK, um, and also it's like. Uh, most of uh, New South Wales and Australia has has blackberry. Definitely down the east coast, where we get more rain. It definitely likes the east coast. I planted actually a uh, native native rubus. It's a uh, it's a local native. I got this from a local native native nursery, and you can see the leaf difference. Now, the one over there has five to six leaves that's the exotic one and then you've got this one is around about three three major leaves there and they look a little bit different from the exotic one so that's how you can tell from the native rubus um, there's a three or four local native rubus in the area um, but here's the creek more more of this aroid growing in there and then more privet. Where I'm, where I'm going today, I'm gonna tackle this uh, uh, well, uh, camphor laurel trees. There's a group of cam camphor laurel trees just over there, and I'm gonna go over there and just remove some of them. And I've got my roundup, and I know you guys, some people out there don't like roundup, they think it's a uh, uranium or some, something like that. But um, I'm gonna be wearing gloves and I'm being be using a paintbrush. To paint it on so I won't be slopping it around. I'm gonna get over this creek, which is a beautiful creek. Look at that. Here's a beautiful creek. I'm gonna jump over and uh, we're gonna have a look over here. So there is a quite, um, there's a lot of rubbish. There's actually a uh, state up, up the creek, like a few k's up the creek. And a lot of people's rubbish gets um, washed down here. Um, so we'll go down to this uh, this uh, grove of camphor laurel trees. Now camphor laurel is a big weed, um, but the wood, you can actually use the wood. Um, it's actually really good at crafting stuff. So here, here are these. There's the camphor laurel there. They become a massive tree. They become... I've seen them in parks and stuff like that. So just a, a garden escapee um, the Euro Europeans brought. When they were establishing their gardens, they thought this would be a great plant. There you go, camphor laurel. And you can see they grow quite, quite straight. And they block out, as you can see, there's nothing growing underneath them. They block out a lot of light. So um, I'm gonna tackle this group in particular today and uh, you never watch me do it. I'm gonna put you guys down here, and 
You can watch me do it. Here's the grove here. Put my gloves on so I don't want to get any um, poison on me. Always safety first um, when you're dealing with Roundup. It's a very nasty uh, chemical, you don't really want it in your body. Um, and the people that overuse it and uh, don't seem to wear the right safety gear tend to the ones who get sick down the, down the track. So it's always um, good to. Uh, Good to actually um, have safety, <laughs> safety uh, gloves and stuff like that, chemical gloves. So I'm gonna cut this big main one. I'm gonna make a cut so it's gonna fall away. I want it to fall over this way. So I'm gonna make that cut. And I don't know if you can see that. Now I'm gonna keep this wood here, so I'm gonna stack it up. Someone apparently um, said they'll use it. They know I'm, I know someone's got a man shed, and they will use camper laurel for uh, making stuff. And it smells really pungent, camper laurel. Actually, it repels insects. So um, it's got this natural um, chemical inside it that repels insects. So you can buy little bits of wood and um, put it in your uh, in your um, in your wardrobe and keep moths away. So it's uh, really good at doing that. It's not gonna fall this way. It splits off. Now I'm gonna give it a good push. All right, maybe it takes a few turns, but I'll definitely cut it a little bit more. I'll just move you guys there. All right, I'm gonna push it this way, so hopefully, there we go. Shiver me timbers! I'm just gonna let it fall and move away from it. There we go. <laughs> so, there it is. It smells really pungent, but I've done that undercut there so when I've cut on an angle it snaps off and snaps that way rather than just uh, tearing it all up it's actually a tall tree I would say about five to six meters long and uh, that's just open up the canopy right there canopy is much more um, wider now so I mean it's a very overcast day but we, uh, we're definitely letting light in here. So I'll uh, go ahead and cut these other ones. All right, so I cut that dump down the ground. Usually I would have my electric uh, chainsaw that they have here, but it's uh, out of battery, so I had to use a 
can saw. It's a bit of work, but it doesn't take too long to fell. So what I'm gonna do, get my round up and put it on a little bit of the paintbrush, just a tad. And I'm just gonna paint it on like that. Not too much. I don't want to overspill. I just want to have a contact with the stump and that's it. Because I don't want it spilling into the soil. I just want it directly onto the uh, the stump. So the Cambian layer, which is the outer layer ring you can see, that's what's gonna actually suck it up. And uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit more just just to be sure to be sure, you know. It can't be it can't be too uh, hasty. And then yes, there we go. That should take hmm, a couple of weeks to the work, but it'll kill the root system, which is what you want. Um, so it doesn't shoot back, and then you have it coming back on you again. So, and it would be a pointless job to to uh, the bog on there uh, to actually um, to have. So I'm gonna cut a few more, and then I think that'll be it for today. Okay, so I've cut them down. I've painted the stumps, as you can see, not spilling it, you know, onto the ground, just enough just to, to get have contact with that vascular system that those veins, those veins, like our human veins, they have veins along outside this um, bark. And uh, I just left these down here. I'm gonna use the wood later, uh, donate that to the uh, um, guys at the uh, men's shed. And uh, this is the last one I'm going to do today. It's only a thin one, but we'll cut this one down too. Okay, so that's it. All done. I'm hot and sweaty. And I'm going <laughs> to... Look at me. I'm dripping. I'm going to go home now. Um, that's pretty much it. You can see how much light is actually coming in on that canopy. You can see there's uh, some native ukes here and some uh, paper bark trees. But here is a mulberry tree, and that would be my next thing to remove. There's a few mulberry trees along the creek, and uh, I'll be going along and removing them. And um, well, I might put that in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching. This is a New Growth and Cream page. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, I'm on Instagram at New Growth and Creative page um, on Instagram. And uh, yeah, make sure you keep updated there. And follow me there. All right. Well, I'm gonna go have a shower and uh, happy New Year's. Uh, see you. Bye.